The Facebook ads platform has lots of different placements that your ads can show up, whether it's on Facebook in the newsfeed, right hand rail, marketplace, messenger, or if it's any of the Instagram placements or audience network. There's a lot of different ad formats and placements where your ads can show up. And one thing that I think marketers don't pay attention to is having any sort of strategy for placements. So today what I want to talk about is how you can choose which placements you should use, how you can customize your campaigns to make sure you're focusing on the right ones, and then how you can review performance to make sure that you're getting the performance out of each placement that you need and you're not wasting money on one that's not performing as well. This video is brought to you by Shape, an all-in-one PPC budgeting solution designed for you to control organize and collaborate on PPC ad spend at scale. Ready to start saving some time? Check out the link below to learn all about Shape. When you're creating your campaign on Facebook, the placements settings live in the ad set settings section. So I'm just gonna click on placements and it's gonna scroll me all the way down here. You'll notice that it starts off on automatic placements and it says it's recommended. This is actually where I agree with Facebook. I would absolutely suggest that you start with automatic placements because that means that it's gonna target all of the placements that it has available. This will allow you to see performance before you start to pick and choose because the biggest pain point I see is that people choose only three, four, sometimes only one placement for their ad to show up. And unfortunately that doesn't give Facebook a lot of information to work with. It's better for you to let Facebook choose which placement performs better, or at least let it run in each placement before you decide which one's better or worse. I think a lot of advertisers are worried that if you have automatic placements chosen, your ad is gonna show up in garbage websites, or it's gonna start showing to people who are completely irrelevant or something along those lines. The first point, the Facebook ads are only going to show to people who are in your target audience. It's not going to all of a sudden start reaching everybody on the web just because you have more placements added. So you don't need to worry about your audience becoming less qualified. It's always gonna reach the same people. The second piece is that it's not going to start showing your ads on terrible websites. All of the pieces within the Facebook ads network have been pretty well vetted if they don't already exist on a Facebook owned property. The majority of placements that you're gonna show up are going to be any of the Facebook listings or Instagram. So those are highly regulated areas and it's not gonna all of a sudden show in some place that's not safe. If you start to see something that comes through, you can make some adjustments and negative exclusions later on. But for the most part, you don't really need to worry about bad placement or bad target audience. It's just not a consideration that you need to have. If you do wanna to start to pick the placements that you have, you can choose this radio button next to edit placements and this big list will come down out here. First thing you can do is choose by device. So you can choose whether you want just mobile or just desktop. So if you choose one versus the other, I just checked mobile, so it's only going to be on desktop now because it basically unchecked mobile. You'll notice that a lot of the placements went away. Audience network is no longer a thing. Messenger's no longer a thing. Instagram is no longer a thing. So it only lets you target the individual placements on desktop devices. Let's bring the full list back so you can see each one of them. So what I want you to do before you start to choose which placements you're going to actually leverage, just come in here and hover over each one of these and see what it will look like. Odds are that no matter how prominent of a Facebook or Instagram user you are, you don't actually know what each of the ad formats looks like. And I think that's part of what prevents people from letting all placements run. So just come in here and get an idea what it would look like. Jasper's Market is going to be the brand that they're going to use. So if you're ever in doubt, that's the brand that's going to show up. Just get a look at what they would actually look like. And if there's something that you just really don't like, if for some reason you really don't like the Messenger inbox ad, you can just uncheck that and now you've customized your placements. But for right now, I'm going to leave this checked. At this point, we've only gotten to see what this would look like for any generic brand. But you can also start to see this for your own ads in the ad builder as well. So let's come over here to add and I'm gonna to go to media. And in this portion of the builder, we can see what our ads would look like in each of these placements. In this version of Facebook, you can see this little list of icons. Like as you could see when I hovered over it, it expanded. And now we can click on each one of these to see what our ad would look like. So right now it's on mobile newsfeed for Facebook. So I can hover over here and see what desktop newsfeed would look like. I can come in here and see what desktop right column would look like. And then if you come down here even further, you can start to see what messenger, audience network, Instagram. So if I wanted to see what Instagram stories would look like, 
it'll also populate that preview. So now we can see what it looks like. So I would encourage you to always build your own ad first and then go check and see what the preview looks like in the placements before you just decide to uncheck placements right off the bat. If your ad looks good, let it run. See what kind of performance it gets. Let Facebook show the quality target audience that you set up an ad in that placement. And if, if it performs well, great. If it doesn't, then we can turn that off later on. We can uncheck that box and make sure that it won't show there anymore. So give it a preview first, make sure that it actually looks good and let it run and let performance decide for you. So maybe you're thinking, okay, great. I'll let Facebook utilize all of the automatic placements and then I'll just review performance and make decisions as to which ones I shouldn't use moving forward from that. But then the question is, how do you see performance by placement? Don't worry, I've got you covered. In the campaigns manager of Facebook, you can be in the campaigns tab, ad sets, ads, wherever you wanna be. Come over to this breakdown, go down to by delivery and then choose placement. And then it's gonna break down all of your data for each campaign by the individual placement that it was on. So you can now see any of the columns you can add here, what the performance was for each of the different placements. You can see which one had the most spend. So that was definitely the newsfeed mobile app for Facebook, followed by Instagram newsfeed, then Instagram stories, and so on and so forth. Luckily at this point, the conversions also follow. That's kind of in the right order. But you could also see cost per result here. The good news is that for the most part, our lower cost but still higher volume placements are up at the top. But if we start to see some placements that just don't perform well, then we can start to customize those at the ad set level and get them out of there. You could also start to see one that performs drastically better than others. I've seen that happen before where let's say one of these placements had a cost per result of $10 and everything else was 30 or above. You could then create a new ad set to target just that placement on its own and make sure that you've got an appropriate amount of budget going toward that and then the remainder going toward these other placements. Months. Just take a look at the performance, see how they're doing, and determine which ones you want to keep running and which ones you want to turn off. So next time you're setting up your campaigns in Facebook, do me a personal favor and at least take a step back and make sure you're thinking about your placement strategy. You're not just restricting things just because that's what you've always done. Take a look at the ad preview, see what your ad looks like, and if it looks okay and seems brand safe, let that run. See what the performance is. I wouldn't be surprised if you start to see a couple of placements that you haven't used before get you an incremental 5-10% more conversions for a pretty good cost per result. And I've never met a business who doesn't want at least a few more conversions for a low cost. So give it a shot next time. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos.